Hey, how's it going? I'm Todd Beginski. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I got this sweet new Predator hat. I'm pretty happy about that, but that's actually not why I made the video. The reason I made the video is because Microsoft just released the cool new PowerShell command that's actually worthy of a video all by itself. So what does this cool command do? Well, what this command does is it allows you to swap out what your root SharePoint site is in your Office 365 tenant. So maybe you have a SharePoint tenant that has an old publishing site or a team site that was spun up when you first created your Office 365 environment with SharePoint. And maybe now you'd like to take advantage of one of the new modern site templates and use that for your homepage instead. I'm sure there's a ton of people in this situation. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Let's get started. In order to do this, the first thing you're going to need to do is install the SharePoint Online Management Shell. So you come to this page and then you click on this link right here to download the shell and run it. Or you can already check if you have it installed by running this command down here in PowerShell. Now an important thing to point out about what version of the SharePoint Online Management Shell you need to do this operation is looking at this page here. And I'll also put the link to this down underneath the video here. But this is the new magical command that is going to allow us to swap the location of one site with another and they call it archiving the original site. I'm not really sure why they call it archiving but it basically is saving your original site to another location. Here's the key thing to point out check out which version of SharePoint Admin PowerShell you need right here. So you've got to have that version available for you. And to find out what version you have, like I mentioned, you can copy this command right here. And then you can go over to your SharePoint Online PowerShell, like right here, that I've already opened up and you can paste that command in and run it. And we can see that I'm running the latest 16.0.99 or 9.1.1.9.0. And that is higher than the version that we need to run this command right here. So now we're all set to run the command. So what does the command look like? Well, let's take a look here. The command is pretty simple, actually. It looks like this. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger here so it's easier to read and we can take a closer look at what this command does. So here's the name of the command and the first parameter you give it is the source URL. The source URL is the parameter that indicates the URL right here to the site that you want to become your new root site. And in my case, I happen to name this site new root site and I'll show that to you in a bit. The target URL here is where you want it to go. So here you can see this is at the root. So I'm taking the site currently at this location, indicated by the source URL, and I'm moving it to the target URL. As you can see, that's the root of my SharePoint Office 365 tenant there. Then finally, you have this archive URL. Basically what this is saying is, where do you want to put the site that's currently at the location that you're targeting to move a new site to. So it's going to take the, new, the site that's currently at this location and it's going to move it and archive it over to this one. And in this case, I'm going to name it original root site. So let's take a look at these different sites that I already have so we can see what we've got beforehand before we run this command and actually swap them. So this is a development tenant that I have in Office 365. And here you can see the URL to it. It is my root site. And so I'm, I just put a little content editor on the page here and I wrote, this is the original SharePoint root site in the Office 365 tenant. This site was created many years ago with the publishing site template. So this is the classic template as you can see. So 
I talked about in the intro to this video, the scenario of why do you want to do this? Well, this is probably why you want to do it. You probably have some kind of publishing or team site that looks like this right now. And you want to swap it out to a new, pretty modern site like this one. So I just created this modern site a few minutes ago, and I based it on the communication site template. And you can see the URL here for it. I call it new root site because this is going to become my new root site. Basically, after I run this PowerShell command, I should be able to navigate to that URL you see right here. Oh, this URL you see right up here, I should be able to navigate to that and see this site instead of this site in the future. So let's go ahead and run the command now and see how it works. All right, so now we're ready to run the command. As you can see, I've pasted it into the PowerShell window here. So let's go ahead and invoke that SPO site swap now. Uh-oh, oh no, it's red characters, what do we do? It actually tells us exactly what to do. It says no connection available. It says we need to use connect-spo service before running this commandlet. And the reason is, is because connect-spo service actually authenticates us to the SharePoint tenant, and that allows us to run these commands. So let's go ahead and run that command now. Okay, so one thing about running this command is you can make your life a little bit easier if you just run the command like this and you specify this URL parameter. And this URL parameter is essentially you take the root URL to your Office 365 SharePoint tenant and then you just add this little dash admin in front of the first part of that URL. In my case, CAND3 right here. I just add the dash admin after it. So that's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna copy this command here and then I'm gonna paste it in. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna prompt me to log in. So I'm gonna enter my username and password in now. All right, so I've already put in the username for my account here you can see and then I'm put in the password and I click sign in and if it's successful all that happens is it just comes back to the command window and takes you to the next line you don't really get any confirmation so now I can hit the up arrow here inside of the SharePoint online management shell a couple times and now we get to the moment of truth let's really run the invoke dash SPO site swap command and see what happens Well, how about that? That totally blew up in our face, didn't it? And the reason is because this command is not available in our tenant. I'm gonna keep checking until I find it's available and enabled in my tenant, and then I will come back and finish the video off to show you how it's done. All right, here we go again. Let's give it a shot. Same command, same arguments. See what it does. All right, that seems to be a good sign. We do not have a bomb out right at the beginning, so it looks like there hopefully is no reason to show the giant black snake firework craziness in my backyard again. And any minute now, hopefully this operation will be completed. Okay, it looks like the command is completed now. I didn't get any feedback one way or the other, but I did hit the enter key and it went to the next new line in here. You can see I do that again. So I believe it's done. Let's go refresh and see what happens now. So this was our original root site in the O365 tenant. Let's go refresh and control F5 here and see which site we get. And boom, look at that, work perfect. So as long as it's flighted in your tenant, you can do this very easily, and I'm very happy to see that. I've been waiting to do that in my tenant for a while. So the next thing I'm going to show you is let's go and take a look at, here is our new root site. If we try to browse to that URL, what happens? As you can see, we get the 404, which is what we expect to get. And then the other site that was part of my command that I ran was the one that went to this URL. And this is where I'm archiving the original root site too. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse to that now and I should see my original root site here, but I do not, I have a error there. So 
Uh, hopefully we can figure out what that is. Maybe more time has to go by for that to happen. It looks like it. There we go. So all I did was refresh and there we have it. My original root site right here now exists at this backup archive location that I gave it. So there you have it. That's how you can use the PowerShell command called invoke-spo site swap to actually change which site is your root site in an Office 365 SharePoint tenant. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and it helps you out. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I got new videos coming all the time and hit the bell so you find out when I drop a new one. Share it with somebody else too. I'm sure somebody could use this video and help them out. Would you like to work together sometime? Hit me up over at canvas.com. I work with folks I meet from these videos all the time. And finally, if you'd like to see more videos about power apps and even that crazy one of the black snakes in my backyard, check them out down here. Have a good one.